So this is going to be my week six of AmeriCorps in Triple C. Um, I'm currently in a conference center here at Camp Orkyla. Um In the conference center, they're doing like EMT classes. So they have like a dummy and like a skeleton over here and stuff. So it's a little creepy because it's like one in the morning on Friday, the day after Thanksgiving, which also goes into the fact that I've been really bad about putting up videos. Um, I was supposed to put it up on Wednesday because that's basically my plan is to put one up every week on Wednesday but I haven't been doing too good about that so this one's just going to be up until Wednesday so just an overview of last week and then I'll hopefully put another one out for next week about what happened this week um so in the past week um a lot has um a lot has happened um a lot with team dynamics mostly um just realized how much I don't really get along with men um as far as the team is concerned have a lot of problems with my male teammates just picking on me and you know being mean because I'm the only gay boy here. Uh, they locked me out of my bedroom late one of the nights and I just had to go off, pop a cap off. No, just just um, yelling verbally because I was really irritated. Um, other than that, work last week was pretty good. We just did more logging. Basically, we were loggers in the wood, cutting down trees, like I said before, and chainsawing. Then over the weekend, we, was, we were really busy. Um, I did a lot of my ISP hours, which are my individual service hours. On Friday night, was we had um, a triage event. Um, we kind of just like faked injuries to help with this EMT class. Like I said, like being in this room, that's, they host that EMT class. So we were triage victims. Um, we all had different things. I had a, like a broken tibia and fibia, and then I had like glass in my face and stuff. So I just like, fake role played in the woods that I was hurt and that they needed to get me out of there. It was a lot of fun because they strapped me to a backboard and carried me like, I'd say like half a mile. They had to walk me back all the way to like main camp. So it was fun just to lay on a backboard and get to relax for a little bit. And also the acting and getting to really like verbalize like my pain, even though it wasn't real, was fun. <laughs> uh, the following day was quite busy. We did more um, ISP hours. Uh, the morning we went and did, um, helped, um, Worked at an animal, animal shelter. Uh, we were supposed to be building a catio, a patio for cats, uh, but that didn't really go over well because some of the older guys just kind of took over the project and didn't really want to help um, us to help them out at all. They were a little bit more hands-on and didn't really know how to delegate tasks very well. So we ended up mostly just cleaning up um, more of like the garden around the animal shelter. And then we went and petted the cats for the rest of the time, which is really cool. They have like, I don't know, 16 cats or something, but it's kind of weird because they don't have any dogs. Uh, um, Orcas Island is an island, so I mean, they don't really have like too big of a stray population. I guess it's pretty easy for them to control. So what they do once they get rid of all the animals is they actually go to the mainland and um, have some of the other shelters uh, send over dogs for them and cats for them as well. Uh, it's pretty cool. They have some really cute cats. There's this one, that's, her name is Penelope, and she's just a little bitch-faced cat. She's really cute. Perfect cat for me, I guess, if I were to get a pet. Uh, after that, we went and did a hike. We hiked up Turtleback Mountain. It was like um, 1,519 in elevation. I don't know what you call it. Feet in elevation, yeah. 1,519 in elevation. Uh, it was a terrible hike. I am just like, not in shape, not in shape. So I basically died, and they were waiting up for me a lot. Uh, the following day, which would be Sunday, we did another ISP in the morning. We helped out in the community garden. We basically spread wood, wood chips in the walkway and just made it a little bit better environment. Picked up some leaves, stuff like that. Um, it only lasted for like three hours, so um, every little bit counts for hours, but I need a lot more. The next day, Monday, we were back to work um, doing more logging. We basically finished up the area we were working and we piled up the logs and that what we were going to have is rock piles. Uh, we're going to have the piles rot out and then basically create habitat with them for animals in the woods. Uh, the following day, Tuesday, we didn't um, get to work outside because it was supposed to be really stormy, which was really strange because it was like a perfect day. It's probably like one of the warmest, nicest days we've had since we've been here in uh, Orcas Island. So um, we actually did indoor work and we're setting up um, the main lodge for a conference they're going to be having here in, um, next week for some of like the YMC camp, like... Uh, directors um, from other camps, I guess. So they're going to be here doing that. So we help set up tables and clean the main lodge for them. 
And then the next day we started a new area of our project. We were basically cleaning around the cabins we live in. We were doing some like de-weeding, foresting, just to help with like um, brush, just helping with brush removal. Trying to do fuel reduction to keep like a good like 20 to 30 feet range of brush away from the buildings. That way if there was potentially a fire, it wouldn't be too hazardous and um, not get to the buildings if, if anything. Uh, so that's kind of been like the over year last week. Uh, yeah, just trying to work on team dynamics and not pop off on some bitches. Uh, just keeping myself calm, carrying on. That's like the AmeriCorps motto. So that's what I'm trying to do. Uh, so I hope you like this video and you tune in uh, for next week. So whenever I get it put on.